Welcome to this video. Continuation of the former video. El Cidran, Spain. What I will tell now is not proven, some would call it just one more narrative, but I deduce it amongst others from observations from all over the world, especially North America, where more observations take place or get through to the public also by YouTube and probably other providers. Please see other videos. Possible scenario. It is strange humans living in a cave with no or extremely difficult access. They could have been under attack and trying to hide in the cave. But the cave opening is in a very strategic location, almost like a room with a view. It is very obvious that it is strategic and I hypothesize it was occupied by watchers, guards, of that valley and river that almost certainly must be followed for several reasons. The Neanderthal outpost members like in the canyons in for instance North America, could have been surprised and overpowered and killed. And left over, for instance lower rank or starving, Neanderthals could have killed the Neanderthal in the cave, outpost, which possibly were their superiors. We have to consider the possibility of the existence of hierarchy between Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal and also in the Neanderthal group or population itself. Cima de los Huevos In another cave site in Spain, Cima de los Huevos the found dead youngsters are not eaten, and also no rape is reported. This case probably contradicts the assumptions that they interbred at each possible occasion and that they were primitives who cannibalized their victims because they were always hungry. It is in favor of my hypothesis that youngsters of the turned-over population must be killed in most cases. The fact they are in a kind of row could be a sign of some respect, but that would be almost ironic and not realistic, or to present or show, off, to a superior, that they complied to the given order, search and kill, do not eat, and show me or us. JM Hypothesis. The dominant group is advanced and arrived with boats or rather fleets, that somehow will stand by and trade locally and intercontinental using the gyres, a kind of traffic. Clovis? Lucy? The world's most heavily debated footprints, YouTube. JM Hypothesis. On the map you see sites from Australia to Africa and up to Europe etc. There were only a few thousands of years for Cro-Magnon to span that distance. Authorization over land would be needed and practically impossible. The quickest and most probable way is using the gyres and currents. It is easier to navigate from Natal, Brazil or South Brazil, to Africa, than from Central America to Natal. This is so because of strong gyres, kind of circular currents that connect continents, in this case the Americas with Africa and Europe. Lamel, Belgium Younger Dryas. Cro-Magnon, Wikipedia. Cro-Magnon Rock Shelter, Wikipedia. Two blocks of sister groups, both extinct. Roughly there seem to be, have been, two blocks, of sister groups. One, a Neanderthal block to the west and two, a Denisovan block to the east. This makes no sense at all if there would have been one migration, route and direction the way consensus suggests it was and happened. The general public of the continents and the countries that today are dominated by YDNAR, most typical, is Europe and its emigrants to the Americas etc., probably think that modern humans, we, carry 98% of modern human DNA and 2% of Neanderthal DNA. While in other continents and countries the general public, representing a much larger number, thinks that they, also modern humans, think they carry 98%, or a bit less, of modern human DNA, and 2%, or a bit more percent, of Denisovan DNA. Because of a supposed mix with the two other groups, the supposed sister groups, science calls us modern humans hybrids, except that they are no other groups, we just saw they are sister groups together with us, and not without us. For now I like to insist on them, us, being hybrids as consensus and certain scientist claims them to be, because I think that branding them as hybrids is correct, but in my case I think we and our sister groups are indeed hybrids for reasons of, hard, hybridization, domestication for those who prefer and not because we supposedly have a few percent of our sister group's DNA through interbreeding with that sister group. So, in my hypothesis all sisters are genetically different hybrid groups that descended from, a most probably, an already hybrid parent group. The newly formed two blocks of hybrids, both existing and representing modern humans. Back to the two modern human blocks from before we, the latest sister group, appeared on the Eurasian scene. There are more genetic differences between the two above blocks or groups, I already mentioned certain haplogroups. Nevertheless the two blocks or groups think, or are induced to think, that they are all the same modern humans, and that the apparent genetic differences do not matter, to them, and also not to the supposed straight lines, root, of one African group, Homo sapiens, dispersing out of Africa, through Eurasia and finally into the Americas. 
To get to the Americas and to have spread from Africa to the Americas, these different groups and blocks inevitably had to be crossed, at least like consensus supposes these out of Africans went over land, especially if that had been by foot. But that is not what genetics including the ancestral and migrational markers show us. Several paradigms are raised to these consensus suppositions. 1. Where do the clearly much older Neanderthal and especially Denisovan sister groups come from, and where do the parents, parent group, come from? They are all clearly human. So how can you call them the first humans when they in fact are the latest humans? Next question will be, what is modern? And is it true? 2. Consensus supposes significant interbreeding between the out-of-Africans and the two groups and two blocks that have to be passed by while en route to the Americas. If such interbreeding would have taken place in the Denisovan bloc the Neanderthal genes should have decreased or have disappeared altogether, and the most eastern bloc should have a mixture or hybridization with Neanderthal and Denisovan mix on top of that first mix, but that is not the case. Instead the two groups go on genetically differentiated or different, separated, and once in the Americas, their percentage in the Americas that was supposedly was picked up in sequence from first, and in, the western bloc and next, and in, the eastern bloc, turns out to be higher than their percentage of the groups they were supposed to come from. To be continued. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.